I'm Karen Farnsworth of Wildflower Quilting, and this video is about using the Again feature in Creative Studio 7. I'm going to be demonstrating using one of my brand new designs, Staggered Diamonds More Edge to Edge. This pattern can be found on my website as a standalone design or as part of the Lines as Designs pattern set. We'll set this pattern up using repeat patterns. So select the design, select repeat patterns icon, and click a point on the screen. Creative Studio adds the first repeat, and then I lock the repeats in rows, and start adding repeats, either by using the plus sign, or by highlighting and changing the number. So I'll add rows as well. And Creative Studio gives me a setup, which I'm not happy with because this design is intended to be set up with alternating rows. So I need to come into alternating, and I like to use minus row on top to get that alternating staggered effect. And that looks pretty good. That's not too bad, but it's not exactly what I'm looking for. So I want to see this design set up a little bit differently. This is when I will use the Again feature. Click on Again, and Creative Studio waits for me to select a point on screen to set up the next set. Now we have a duplicate of that setup, but I want to see how it looks with a different vertical spacing. So let's try negative one vertical spacing. Um, yeah, I like that better already. But let's go again and try something else. Click a spot on screen and then change this to a negative two. So we're increasing that because I want to see how that looks compared to the others. Better and better all the time. Let's try again. Click that point and go to even a negative three. Ooh, I like that. When I come in here, I can see it's just touching. That's got a really cool look. I like that a lot. I might even add a couple of rows to get a bigger view. Oh yeah, that's kind of cool. All right, but one more. I'm going to say again. Choose a point on screen. I get that set up again. But now I want to go to negative four. Now we're going to be overlapping. And when I scroll in here and look at it, oh, it's overlapping just a tad more than I'd like it to. So let's use our plus to change this to negative 3.8 and scroll in here and see how I like it. Oh, that's really cool. I like how that looks. Let's add some more rows again make that a little bit bigger. Very cool. So now I have several different setups. It took me just a few moments to get each one of these and I can compare them all and decide which one I like best to show to a customer or to put on the quilt. Now I can say OK to close the setup. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, Visit my website, wildflowerquilting.com, for more information on Karen and George's Academy videos. Thanks for watching, and enjoy!